first of all, as a director, you're always sort of a little nervous going into whatever pairing you put together, you know, whatever actors you start to, to mix and match. And so this one was a little unusual because it's father and son and they're playing father and son. The nervousness that I was dealing with was really born out of a respect uh, for him and not wanting to let him down. Oddly enough, when we started to work, that dissipated very quickly. And our processes are not very different, which was kind of cool to see. Uh, and I think we worked really, really well together. He's a wonderful actor. Terrific, you know? He's just a very positive, creative force in the production of this. It was great. Whatever you needed to write, to get to the center of what the core of, the, what you thought the problem of the, the scene was, of the character, everybody was available to it. It was lovely. There's a very historic element to this film, and particularly from that point of view, to see. And Kiefer is, uh, I think Kiefer's a really remarkable actor. And of course, Jack Bauer, and of course, his own history has been pretty amazing. And Donald is, well, Donald's a legend, really. I've had the good fortune of working with both Kiefer and Donald, and I was aware that they had never worked together before. And so as I read the story, between a father and son, I felt quite captivated by the personal and professional opportunity that it brought. There ain't no God. There is no God! What I'm saying is if there was ever a time the man needed God, it was then, and trust me, he wasn't there. If you're expecting God to save you, he ain't gonna. Most men came out of that war wanting nothing more to do with killing, but not you. You went looking for it. God is not responsible for the life you choose. I did not choose it! The thing that I ended up walking away with, which was the most kind of profound kind of gift that I got uh, from this experience, was I realized that we spent nine weeks together, at least 14 hours a day, focused on building something together. And that ended up being the kind of the, the most special gift that I got out of this experience. Kiefer and I did 24 for pretty much seven years. And one of those things that you do when you're sort of waiting for a lighting setup or, or waiting for anything on a, on a television set or even a movie set is you talk about the future. And one of the things that Kiefer and I always talked about, it was almost like a little fantasy, was the potential of doing a Western. As a director in the television film business, there's nothing more exciting that you hold in front of you as a Western. So I was into it and he was into it and we talked back and forth and then suddenly it, it started to become real. And then it became not only just a Western, but a Western with his father, Kiefer and Donald really together for the first time in a movie. And that couldn't be more attractive to me. So it was a double whammy. A Canadian company got involved, Mind's Eye, and so they started to put it together. And before you know it, I'm sitting on a Western street doing Western. I'm a huge fan of the Western genre, and I got to work with John Cassar. Uh, I thought the story was fantastic. I thought it was casted beautifully. You know, but ultimately, the thing that excited me the most and the thing that I was, uh, I guess, maybe even the most nervous about was that I got to work with my father for the first time. That's something I've wanted to do for 30-some-odd years and couldn't think of a better story that I would want to tell with him. So for all of those reasons, but primarily, I got to he said, listen, I have this one, uh, it's a cowboy picture, and I'd, I'd love to make a cowboy picture, so, so we did that. Forsaken is a classic Western. When I first read the script, I just kept thinking of some of the old John Ford Westerns and some of the great Clint Eastwood Westerns. Brad Merman wrote really an amazing script, really touching, emotional, yet, you know, pretty action-packed. It sort of harkened back to the older Westerns, not sort of the modern sort of revitalized Westerns that, that have been out recently. It, it really sort of had old-fashioned values that you could sort of imprint on today father and son, and the trouble between father and son, uh, long lost love, it had all those wonderful things. This is dealing with a lot of themes of love and loss and kind of renewal. It's quite a moving story. You know, it costs you emotionally to read that script, and that's a good thing. Yeah, good story. <laughs> 
seconded. It's, it's not the kind of genre that gets shot a lot anymore. And, and it's cyclical, you know, a few of them will come out. You'll have wonderful Unforgiven, and so you get a couple that come out because Unforgiven was successful, and, and so on and so forth. But I think everyone tries to imprint this sort of really modern kind of look to them and feel to them. And I think that it plays against what a Western really is.